Hello and welcome to P2 Soccer Training. This session is for our more advanced players and the topic is transition to counter attack effectively. In a 36 by 24 yard grid for our warm up, we're going to divide it into small sections. Players are divided into teams of 3 or 4 if necessary and they will work in a small square and move the ball quickly. Encourage one touch passing and quick feet. Players should then pass the ball as quickly as possible to the open player. Introduce some combination plays that can be found on the session plan within their square. Use cones if needed to show where they can run and stand. Next we will challenge the player to expand their square and they will use the square next to them to try and use the combinations to get out. They will try and connect to the next square and the pass should be longer and it could potentially be in front of them to mimic a through ball. Again the different combinations are on the session plan to this and we also need to familiarise ourselves with the coaching point. In the technical aspect of the game we're going to play in a 36 by 24 yard grid. There's two small goals back to back in the middle of the field. You're going to divide your players into two teams and assign two neutral players. This will create an overload for the team that has the ball. When the team has the ball they will have an overload like we said. The defending team will more than likely block the nearest goal or the attacking team will just score so we have to ask our teams maybe it's more effective to switch the ball to the other side of the field and try and score in the other goal they should be able to do this as they have got an overload of players and it's going to be a 5v3 our coaching point for this is make sure that we are expanding in possession so when we have the ball can we make the field as big as possible to try and stretch the team that has less players to make sure that we can score a goal making it easier we can assign more neutral players and to make it harder we can decrease the amount of neutral players or add zero in the next part of our session with the 36 by 20 24 yard field we're going to mark a halfway line two small goals one at either end divide your team into two and each will designate two players who will only be allowed in the game when your team has possession similar to the neutral concept above they will leave or enter at the midfield and if their team gives the ball up they have to get out the field as quickly as possible this way the team in possession will always have a plus two advantage if they can transition quickly enough you can progress this by not only allowing the players in when they have possession but only if they cross the halfway line the final progression would be to allow them only 20 seconds to score once they've crossed the halfway line. This encourages the players to try and keep the ball but attack quickly when they can. Making it easier, allow a designated player to go with a bigger advantage. And making it harder, we're going to allow a maximum of 10 seconds to score. The coaching points are on the session plan and again, please familiarise yourself with these. In the last part of our session, it's small sided game time. We suggest playing 5v5 to keep all players engaged and we suggest no goalkeepers with the use of small goals to create quick and accurate shots. In order to create plenty of coaching moments, we suggest setting formations, assign positions and help the players understand their role in the game. Remember, it's also important to allow the players to play freely under no restrictions to make sure that they're enjoying the game and that they're developing their creativity. There's a coaching summary on the session plan and you should definitely familiarise yourself with this. And thank you very much for watching and for more sessions like this and for the session plans to go along with this, visit p2.soccer.